Well, hi everybody. Uh, Trek Builder here. Um, well, I don't know what happened. I had this whole thing recorded and for some strange reason my camera just stopped recording. Uh, it was kind of weird. So, uh, I'm going to have to start all over. Um, at any rate, it, this was meant to be a short video anyway. Uh, and it turned out to be a long video, but that's okay. I just wanted to cover a couple things. Uh, one would be Voyager. Um, I've been making some progress with the windows. Again, keep in mind, this is my first uh, model I'm going to be lighting, so it'll be a, a quite an experience for me. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you the upper and lower parts of the saucer that I started working on as far as drilling out the holes and kind of my method and you know just kind of get some feedback from other viewers out there just to let me know what they think of them um, and you know offer any constructive criticism if possible or if they think they look good then and they don't really need to be touched up much then let me know um, I think that they look pretty darn good uh, for just taking a shot at it and you know not making no critical mistakes so let me swing the camera around here so you can take a look at at where I'm at with the windows and we'll take it from there and sorry about any jumping around here because well, that's just how it is. So here is where I'm at. I've got the upper and lower halves of the saucer here. And to show you for starters, I'm going to take the lower lower half because that's where I started on. Uh, now, if you haven't seen this or if, if you don't remember what the last video looked like, uh, if you look at the windows not started, uh, if you look at here's the top half because that's I, the bottom ones are already finished. But if you look at what the windows look like, if you were just to paint them, you know they just in, they're indented little squares. And if you want to light this kit, you have to drill all these out. So that takes a lot of work, a lot more work than I was anticipating. But it's rewarding when it's finished. So looking at the bottom half, what I've already started is you'll notice that there are these windows here and these windows here. Them are the only windows that I had to drill out on the bottom. All these other bigger squares like this and these, those are all factory drilled out. So uh, that was kind of neat. So here's where I started and these are the windows that I've done so far. I've drilled them out and kind of try to you know keep the drill bit along the edge where the scribe marks are for the indentations and they turned out okay you know they they aren't perfect but they look they look pretty darn good uh, so if I hold them up uh, you'll see here what they look like and to try to keep them, oops, sorry about that. To try to keep them as square as possible, uh, the only way I really could do it is when I did this, I, uh, uh, sorry, when I did this, I took my drill bit and I drilled three holes next to one another, one one on the outside of each of the top and bottom of the window. And then I try to drill like right in the center, and then I, you know, then you just have a little bit of fine uh, plastic still holding together. So then I just took my drill, and I just took it, and I just kind of reamed it out. You know, try to didn't kind of want to go this way, but I just kind of went up and down a little bit, and I didn't want to take the drill bit and go past the the scribe marks because, well, I didn't want it to go out of shapes or you know keep. I wanted to st stick within the the square. Uh, that's how it's supposed to look. So I did my best, the best that I could with the drill bit, and that's how they turned out. And I think that they look pretty darn good uh, for being the very first time that I've drilled out windows. I'd say that 
they don't look bad. And one tool that I found online, and I also found, ironically, I, I called my local hobby store and I asked them if they had this tool and they said no we don't or anything similar to what I was looking for and they said no. Uh, but I found what I was looking for on Amazon and then I, I found a set that I, I you know found by doing a, a search on pin uh, like on a pin vice and I came up uh, with uh, a product uh, you've probably heard of them at your like their pin vices are made by this company uh, or small precision handled tools uh, the company is called Excel well Excel made this tool here um, and it's just a handle but in this handle is a bunch well six it comes with six mini files oh I'm terrible with my zoom sorry so if I open up this darn thing oh, don't go away and I plop them out and it's got a little cowl uh, cowl on the end where I can just stick the tools in uh, the the files in and then I just put them in and then this will tighten the the file so I have a handle if you want to have a handle but these are the files that come with this kit and you get six of them there's my other two uh, but I get six of these mini files and these things are tiny and that's exactly what I was hoping to find for doing these windows well ironically when after when I drilled out these windows these are probably the biggest windows on the whole ship uh, the bottom ones are a little bit bigger than the rest but these particular windows were the exact same size as my square file here so if you look if I take this it is literally the same exact size as the window so being that there's the the file file markings are on the edges too I can sit here with these files and I can take it and try to get these as square as possible now I've been working on these windows for like a day now and I, I really can't get them a whole lot better than what they are and I think they don't look bad at all I, I think that once I get some filling in there, whatever clear epoxy or clear clear window stuff I can use on that, uh, I think it'll look good. And then once once this is painted, it, you know, the whole model's painted, then I think it'll look pretty good. So I think the bottom half looked, looks okay. I started on the top half, and that was a challenge. Boy, I didn't realize how long it's going to take to do these uh, to do these windows. But if you look here... I started on I started on the uh, the top the top section of windows going around the top part and these windows are tiny uh, they're they're tinier than the bottom which I can't get the file in unless I really wanted to open up these windows bigger uh, then I could use the files but I really didn't want to do that just just because so on one of my files here, this, not that one, this one here, uh, it's kind of like got a, an oval tip. So with this one, I can sit here, you know, if I can zoom in here, I can take this one and I can do this. So I can sit here and I can, uh, I can file away at that little by little but at some point you just got to say okay it's good enough move on uh, these ones I think turned out pretty good I think for the most part these windows look okay I mean you can try you can sit here and you can spend hours just trying to get them perfectly square but I guess the way that I I look at it is these windows well they're not perfectly square after I used a round drill bit in there and if you think about it really what windows are square uh, other than your house if you look at if you look at an airplane uh, I don't think they're perfectly square I think they're kind of oval or rounded uh, if you look at a boat they're rounded I think um, I don't think that there's too many applications that have perfectly square windows other than a house so I could be wrong on that but I'm just trying to trying to justify not making them 
square. So, uh, so far they look okay and that's where I'm at. So any, uh, any comments below, uh, let me know if you think that they look good enough or uh, if I'm being too picky or if you know you have any other methods that could really get them square. Uh, now I've tried using an X-Acto blade and being that they're so small and this plastic is so thick that it's really tough to try to trim it and I tried using the whole X-Acto blade thing and that didn't work so uh, I've got another file set coming from Amazon because that's the first set that I ordered before I realized these existed and who knows maybe the ones on there it's not the same brand so they're not Excel uh, so hopefully the the ones I'm getting in the mail will even be smaller than this which I highly doubt but if they are there you go that's there's my answer for the windows uh, so that's where I'm at so far I, I haven't gotten too far with the windows but I just wanted to post a, a, a video here uh, just to get some feedback on what what you all think of of how the windows are looking so far being that this is my first time uh, let me know what you think uh, the only other thing and this is what I think made my video go longer than expected is I had an idea that I've been thinking about uh, for a while now um, since I my last videos months ago uh, I had was wondering if anybody out there is actually going to the Star Trek convention this August uh, in Vegas. I f myself am going. Uh, I had planned, you know, I figured, well, you know what, I have never been to a Star Trek convention, and it's only practical that I go because Star Trek is my passion. Uh, I love building Star Trek models, and I just, I, I really like Star Trek, so why, you know, I saved up for it and I figured, you know what, I'm going to go this year. And I am going, and I'm curious to know if any other uh, modelers uh, there out on YouTube are planning on going to the convention this August. Uh, if you are, what I was thinking would be a really neat idea is if we could designate, you know, set some time aside one evening, uh, maybe on a night that something really big isn't going on you know throughout the week uh, I was thinking being that we're probably all going to be eating out anyway uh, maybe it would be a kind of fun to get all get together and just meet everybody in person and kind of just make it a discussion topic maybe go out for dinner uh, dinner or drinks and um, I don't know just talk Star Trek or talk uh, talk models and you know maybe get some input you know more on a personal level than really when when we're sitting here behind a video camera. Uh, I thought that might be a good idea. Uh, like I said, I myself am going to the convention. If anybody else is planning on going and thinks that that would be a good idea, just making it an evening and going out for dinner, uh, we can sit and talk Star Trek and models. Uh, I, for one, would really think that would be a cool, cool and uh, memorable time, and I think it would be a lot of fun. So. Uh, give me your give me your input on that, and uh, that's that. So I hope everybody has a good evening and uh, have a great week. Talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.